Welcome to 60 Seconds in Calculus with Mr. McHale. Today we're going to talk about critical points, our first section. Remember, uh, critical points help us find the max and the min values. They don't always have to give us a max or min, but they're the only candidates. There's two places critical points exist, when the derivative equals zero and the derivative does not exist. Looking at one of our homework problems, I pick an easy one, number 11. Find the derivative, set the derivative equal to zero, and solve. Um, since the derivative always exists, you don't have to worry about the second criteria. Problem like 23, a little tougher, you have to use the quotient rule. I'll let you work out that mathematics. Um, the top set equal to zero would tell you the first part, the criteria. Um, you could use the quadratic formula to solve it. The bottom set equal to zero would tell you the second part, when the derivative does not exist. Um, if you get 3 and negative 3, realize that those two numbers are not in the domain of the original, so we don't have any answers.